Hi, welcome again. So let us talk in this video review roles and responsibilities. In the previous lesson, I talked about four types of reviews: informal reviews, walkthroughs, technical reviews, and inspections. And we categorize these review types based on the degree of formality we apply while doing reviews. And in fact, during the lesson, I talked about few roles. I talked about moderator, I have talked about author, I have talked about reviewers and when I talked about inspection, I talked about inspectors and also I mentioned about another role called scribe. So in this lesson, let us learn what are the roles that are usually defined in variety of reviews and the responsibilities attached to those roles. So, in reviews, we talk about five different roles. The first role is manager. The second role is moderator. The third role is author. The fourth role is scribe. And the fifth role is reviewers. So if we are using an inspection process, sometimes reviewers are called inspectors. But these are the five roles. So let us understand the responsibilities of each of these roles. So who is this manager in the review process? So for every software development project, there is a project manager who takes control of scheduling, organizing the project, controlling the project. So that manager has to plan the reviews inside his or her project plan. So the review or inspection manager actually responds to requests for formal reviews obtains needed resources and allocates time and schedule. These are general purpose managers who are overseeing the project and a particular work product is completed. So requests are sent, hey, my document is ready now. I want it to be formally reviewed. Then this manager comes in place and he allocates time and schedule on the project plan, allocates resources and initiates the whole process of a document being reviewed. And also the manager designates the moderator. In an organization, there may be a lot of moderators who are senior people, who are trained, certified. So whoever is available, whoever is the most suitable for this particular uh, review, he will be designated by the manager. And also the manager makes training available for reviewers new to the process. Whoever coming for the first time and doing reviewers role, then the manager takes responsibility to train them. And also the manager holds people accountable for participating and contributing. So whoever have been allocated, they're indeed participating in these reviews. The manager will ensure, he, he will be accountable. He will hold people to be accountable for the plan. And the manager determines if the goals of the reviews are met or not met because he initiated the whole review process. So ensures that the whole goals are being met. Then analyzes the metrics and data collected during the review to determine needed improvements in the review process. So in the company during the project, many reviews would have taken place by many teams and all these review teams have put some data and this data has to be analyzed. We have to un understand whether the reviews are being useful or not. And if they are not useful, why they are not useful? You have to improve and process improvement has to be initiated. All those things will be done by the manager. And that is the role of a manager. Other than that, the manager doesn't have any role in the review process. To conclude on manager role, Managers, they allocate schedule and time for a particular review upon requests. And they will designate the moderator and the rest of the reviewers. They will take care of their training. They will ensure that reviews are really being conducted. And also the reviews are being useful. Because in a review process, unknowingly, we spend a lot of money. If they are not really yielding good results, managers have to really notice them and keep on improving them. That is about manager role. Now let's move to the moderator role. Moderator is also called the review leader or 
an inspection leader often these people are very senior people now a manager has initiated so and so document will go through a formal review in the next two weeks and the manager has allocated hey he, you are going to be the moderator he will appoint one moderator now moderator will plan the review process with the help of the author the person who wrote the document is called the author i wrote the design document my manager told this team will go, will be inspecting the document or formally reviewing the document now moderator will go talk to the author and will plan the whole process we'll talk about what is the formal review process in the next lesson but moderator is responsible for planning the review process with the help of the author and then moderator checks the work product before the review the entry check to make sure that it is suitable for a review okay author has made a document design document has it been fully completed has a self review happened or as a uh, peer review happened because once those entry criteria are met then only it has to go through the next kind of inspection let's say i wrote a code and we are talking about code review or code inspection i am a programmer i wrote code but before i give it to inspection where other people will come and spend time to improve this code i have to do some activities i have to do unit test i have to do my own static analysis i have to ensure that code according to me met all the standards then only i can involve other people so an inspector will ensure that the work product is really ready for inspection and then the moderator facilitates the kick off and review meetings mediating between various points of view without interjecting personal opinions so now i have ensured that author has completed really the work product what i will do now as a moderator i will appoint a set of inspectors and i will call them and start a kick off meeting meaning i will invite all of them share all the documents the code the codes design the designs requirement all of those documents i will share with them and i will tell each reviewer or each inspector hey reviewer do this like say this code please look from the security angle you look at this code or functional angle you look at this or from a performance angle you look at that so you give the work to various people then designate a scribe who is going to take the minutes of the meeting lot of times the author or one of the reviewers play the extra role of being a scribe and after the review is done the moderator will perform the exit check on the review findings and then releases the work product from the review and also at the end of all the inspection is completed or review is completed moderator will compiles metrics to measure efficiency and effectiveness of the review process and makes recommendation to the manager for process improvements these are all the typical responsibilities associated with moderators so now let us talk about the responsibility of author so author who is the author the person who wrote the document that is being reviewed is called as the author so author may initiate the request for review once my work is over as an author i will tell my manager hey manager i completed my work now let it go through a review process then the author helps the moderator to plan the review process because he has to work with moderator and plan for it then author clarifies any work product issues that may arise at the kick off meeting so in the kick off meeting when moderator is assigning roles and responsibilities for each of the moderate inspectors author will clarify some of the questions that may arise there and author listens actively during the logging phase and responds to questions during the discussion phase so at the time of review meeting author listens to all the comments that are being made by the inspectors or the reviewers and 
takes notes of what corrections have to be made. Author uses the list of action items as a guide to correct the defects and improve the work product. So all the defects or logging happened about what are the potential mistakes in the work product the author has created. He will make a list of it and try to work on them. And once the rework is completed, he will submit the rework to the moderator. That is what is the role and responsibility of an author. So author is the person who wrote the document, he is responsible for the document and he initiated and requested for a review meeting to happen. When he initiated a request, manager has appointed a moderator and the review process began. And there is a kickoff meeting in which he appointed the moderators and gave them a lot of information about the document and the review process and that is how it continues. Now the fourth role in a typical review is called scribe. So as I told you scribe is a role but a lot of times scribe role is played by one of the persons either the author or sometimes by one of the reviewers. So the responsibility of the scribe is to record the minutes of the review meeting. Whatever happened they have to record and distribute it later. Uses the language and wording of the reviewers to list each issue or defect in a central log. So whatever exactly happened they have to capture it and you cannot put your own words into what happened in the meeting. So that is very important and also the scribe records highlights of the discussion about each issue or defect. So it is a very uh, important responsibility you have to be good at doing or recording these minutes of a meeting. Then the last item is records the reviewers decisions, the findings and comply, compiles a list of action items. So at the end of the review meeting or inspection meeting a document is distributed to all the participants and this document is created by the scribe. Then the last role is the role of reviewers or in a formal inspection process we call them inspectors. So what is their role? Their role is to study the work product according to the schedule and viewpoint assigned by the moderator. As I told you, if I am an inspector, my moderator told me to look at the code from a performance angle, then I have to apply that angle before I come to the meeting. Then as an inspector or as a reviewer, I have to identify issues and defects describing the problem as clearly as possible and making suggested edits or recommendations for improvements and corrections. I have to prepare prior to the meeting and make very detailed notes about my findings and suggestions where particular edits have to be done. It has to be extremely specific and precise. Then the fourth item is identify strengths of the work product to reinforce what the author should continue to do. Like whatever is good you have to tell that hey this is good please keep doing like that and participate in the meeting discussions providing fair minded comments without bias or emotion that is very important for a review to be successful because if you look at the situation of an author, author has made a document and you are finding a lot of faults and giving as an improvement to the author. So if it is done in an objective way without any emotion, without any bias, then only reviews will be successful. So we talked about five roles, the manager, the moderator, the author, the scribe and the reviewers or inspectors. Hope you have understood that. Before we conclude this lesson, let us check our understanding. So on the screen, I have all the five roles on the left side and descriptions of these roles on the right side. So you have to match both sides now. Let us take from the right first one, finds defects and recommends changes or corrections. Who does that? Who finds defects and recommends for changes? Who? Out of these five roles, author, 
moderator, scribe, manager, reviewer. Who does it? Yes, you are right. Author is responsible for that. The second item is plans the review process, facilitates meetings, conducts follow up after meetings. Who does this? Plans the review process, facilitates meetings, conducts follow up after meetings. Who does that? Yes, you are right. It is moderator. It is not manager. Manager does overall planning of this review he will do, but he will not facilitate the review meetings. He will not facilitate or conduct follow ups after meetings. It is the role of moderator. Let us read the third point. Helps the review, attends meetings and makes the appropriate changes and correction to the work product. Who does that? Helps the review, attends meetings and makes the appropriate changes and correction to the work product. Whose responsibility is that? Yes, it is the responsibility of the author. Now the fourth statement, let's read it, records the minutes creates the list of action items. Who does that? Yes, it is scribe. Now the fifth item supports the review process. So it is difference, you have to look at it. The moderator plans the review process, whereas manager supports the review process. Allocates time and resources. Determines if the review has met its objectives. Who does that? It is done by manager. So. That's about the roles and responsibilities of applied within the reviews. So hope you have understood it. If you have any questions, please ask them in the discussion forum. I'll be answering to you. Learn and have fun.